Hey y'all, and uh, we are we are live. It has been kind of a frustrating few minutes. I'm not really sure how or why and what's up with Facebook. Uh, I don't know. And no, I'm not one who thinks that somehow uh, Facebook is shadow banning us. I don't think that that's the case at all. And I just think that they have problems sometimes. And um, doing live from my computer right now is a problem. But we're here. It's Monday. And we are I don't think I'm in the here. <laughs> um, so let me hang on. Hang on, hang on a second. Okay. That's later than what Okay. Mm -hmm. cool. Let me see. Good morning, everyone. Yes, you're very much in the picture. Okay. I'm not even in the picture. Because you're over there. My, uh, my so we're dealing with it right now. <coughs> but in any case. Okay. So we'll have to so we'll have to see. We will have to see what's going on. Uh, we'll do that again. Yeah, see how what how much later that is? I don't know if I can edit all this, but dang on it. Dang on it, Zuckerberg. Did it change? frustrating this morning. Well, so it's a little, so a little irritating, but that's that's kind of what you deal with when you're dealing live. with live stuff and what you're dealing with technology that you don't have full control over because when you use somebody else's stuff, i.e. Facebook, i.e. YouTube, you're just dealing with whatever situation is going on. Um, what about the microphone? We're using the microphone from, from the phone. Okay. Um, okay. So there you go. Um, Sort of, it sort of leads into the subject that I want to talk about today uh, in a weird kind of way. Uh, it has to do with um, something I think that when um, couples get older uh, and uh, relationships get more f more familiar, uh, which is kind of a actually the opposite of what you thought of, I mean, what you think it'd be, um, that there is actually less physical touch. See what I'm saying? Now, when you were young, yet, or you, you were younger, or the relationship was younger, you probably couldn't keep your mitts off each other. You just couldn't do it. Everywhere, everywhere, that, everywhere you were, didn't matter where you were, except maybe at your mama's house, um, you couldn't keep your mitts off each other. You were pawing each other all the time. Now, and... Admittedly, a lot of the, a lot of that physical contact was leading to sexual activity, right? Yes. Um, and that's fine, and that's awesome, and that's super. And I'm not saying that it, it, it shouldn't or it shouldn't have. Actually, I'm saying it probably should have, um, because that's how that's how you make babies. Because that's how you make babies, and that's how you continue the species. So we're kind of wired that way. 
um, I think what's what I want to talk about was that we're sort of as the relation as, as relationships get more mature or, or and people get older is that they forget the benefit or they don't understand the benefit of physical contact and how important it is I think to relationship um, and and I, and how how how, an impo- how just important it is in general what we know is the research says that Babies, especially infants, infants, infants um, that get held actually do better health wise. They have people in the hospitals mm-hmm. who go in to, especially with babies who who, who may not have parents who can um, can do this or anyone in their family who do this, who just mm-hmm. sit basically for hours and hold babies because they found that the physical touch makes them healthier and stronger and helps them out of out of the NICU sooner and their outcomes are better uh, just because of physical touch. Uh, we are wired that way. We're wired that way electrically. We're wired that way spiritually. We're just wired that way. So, and, and, and what, what we're finding, research is finding out is that we don't change. We're still the same. The benefits of a physical touch in relationships are is very very important to the health and the well-being of not only the relationship but the individual so what we, what we want to do is today talk a little bit about that and kind of see where you are in your relationship and I and I know that you know we always you know Debbie and I always sort of smile and laugh when we see an older couple and they're out and they're still holding hands. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we, we always go, oh, isn't that cute? That's so cute. Isn't that cute? They're, st- they're still holding hands. Um, and the important part is that, that I don't know whether they under, people understand really why they're still holding hands other than they like it, but it's good for them. And it's good for, the, and it's good for their relationship. And it's good for their health. It's good for their well. It's, it's, it's good for their their mental well being. It's good for them. And what we, what we want to do, what I want to do anyway, I want to challenge you, especially um, now. I know that if you're if you're younger and your relationship is fairly new, your marriage is fairly new, I ain't got to tell y'all to touch each other. <laughs> you're automatically doing. You're probably that. <laughs> you're probably pawing on each other now. And if you're not. You should have some con- concerns. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If he's not, you know what? I, I and I know this is early morning stuff, but if he's not filling you up, and it's the first, you know, month of your marriage, um, y'all need to have a, have a cover conversation. Um, without releasing any secrets about anybody, I, I, I have some, I have some friends that um, got married a while ago. And there wasn't any, there wasn't much physical contact early in their marriage. And I was just, I was concerned, I was concerned. I wasn't trying to dip into their, you know, in their business, but I was concerned because what I, what I do know is that that early in the marriage, yes, you are still swinging from the chandeliers. And, and there are, and, and the lights are on and there are no forbidden rooms in the house. Well, there sh- and there shouldn't be. And there shouldn't be. And there shouldn't be. Um, so. Without any children running around. Duh. You, you what? Pretty much can. Do whatever you want. Yeah. Do whatever, do whatever you want, wherever you want. Um, and so I understand that early in a relationship, in a marriage, that that's an easy thing to do. Uh, or it should be an easy thing to do. But later, we sort of, for I think for all sorts of reasons, we, we don't think that we should anymore. And people stop, you know, for, for some, one reason or another, uh, you, stop feeling, you stop feeling comfortable about it. Or as comfortable. Um, I'm not talking about just, you know, just throwing down a blanket in, you know, what in the living room every now and again and, and going at it. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about all the, the, the PDAs, the things that you might get in trouble in school about, the public and the displays of affection, the, the hand holding, the, you know, the occasional butt grab. Yeah, which 
you're famous for? I am famous for. <laughs> I'm an expert. Um, Only for me. <laughs> well, yeah, I don't grab anybody else's. But why would I grab any? So there's no benefit to grabbing well, anybody else's you butt. Have to, sometimes people don't get that. Do I have to, have to tell? To do you have to tell people? Do people who watch us? Y'all ain't that dumb, are you? No. <laughs> I don't think you're. I don't think you're that stupid. I think you know exactly who I was talking about butt grabbing. I wasn't talk. I wasn't really talking about anybody else. Um, the hand holding in public. The you know the the touching of someone's arms. Uh, the occasional spooning. Um, you know what, you know what, you know, when you, when you go to bed, that, that sort of stuff. And, and what I want to do is, uh, before we go, I, I, I want to issue a, a, a 30 day challenge for you. Um, because I want, our whole idea is to make relationships better. Yes. Uh, no matter, no matter what stage of, rela of a relationship that you're in, uh, whether you're in the stage of relationship where, um, you're brand new and you're getting to know each other, which is why you touch one another. So that's part of the getting to know, getting to know, to know each other. Uh, or you've been married for a while. You have been married for a while. And, um, and you think that maybe some of the intimacy is leaving out now. It's hard. It's hard when you say intimacy because all people always, you know, people always run right to sex. Uh, but that's not what, that's not all that of what intimacy is, that some of the intimacy is lost, some of the closeness is lost. And I think a lot of times it's lost because you stop touching one another. Like we were just saying, you don't touch strangers. You don't just walk up and start touching, Caressing. <laughs> touching strangers, you know? And if you do... Well, that, that's a whole set of uh, of other Different problems issues. you got you got going on there. You got somebody who who loves to go up there and and pat and rub total strangers because nobody really likes that. If you don't know me, don't be rap, don't, don't be rubbing on me. Uh, it's just weird. Don't. Um, but so that part of your relationship is probably lacking. It's probably missing. Uh, and I know sometimes we get older and our body changes. Uh, people get weird about getting looked at, getting stared at, getting touched in certain areas. Because you feel a little self-conscious about your body. Which is crazy. Because it's not the body of 20. But you, none of us have the body 50. of... None of us have the body of 20. If you've got a body of a 20-year-old, take it back. It's not yours. <laughs> <laughs> Give it back to them. Some people work hard and they still have their bodies. No, they don't. It's all a facade. Because as soon as you pull that skin back, he says, oh, you were born in 1960. Yeah. Yeah, you, you got all that stuff and you got all that muscle tone. But inside, those parts are still 50 years old. They just they just are. Now, you may have treated them well, but they're still 50 years old. There's no rolling the clock back. The clock is incessant and the clock will, the clock will get us all. So, no. But some people feel, you're right, people feel self-conscious suddenly um, that their body has changed, they gained weight in, weird, you know, in, in, in places that they're not comfortable with, their, their stomach especially, um, their thighs, their booty, whatever, and they just feel, they don't feel like they did when they were 20. Mm -hmm. My thought, and my thought's always been, and you know this, is that, especially men, most men don't care. Because you've always been, ladies, you've always been their sweetheart. You've always been the one that they, they were physically attracted to. And they still are. Okay. And they still are. In, in, in health relationships, they're still attracted to you. Now, by the same token, it doesn't mean that you can't look at somebody else and go, oh yeah, she's pretty. It's not the same thing. It isn't like... Like every like when a man looks at every other woman, he suddenly gets his eyes poked out. Although you should, guys, you should really act like it. Uh, like you ain't see, you know, like you ain't see nobody. That you didn't see. You ain't see all. anybody. You, that you suddenly went blind. You ain't see nobody. So when she says, "Do you see her?" The answer is always, "No." <laughs> but we know you really did. Didn't no? I ain't see. I ain't see nobody. Mm. I ain't see. I never admit. No. You see what she was wearing. Mm. 
No. What was she wearing? <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> That's the best outcome, buddy. That's the best outcome. But the idea is that, that they're still, we're still attracted to you. We're still physically attracted to you. With all our our changes in our bodies, all the all the weight that showed up in showed up in places that wasn't there when we were twenty five, and we didn't think would ever be there when we were twenty five, but there it is. Dun, dun, dun. All all the stretch marks from 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 the weight gain, the weight loss, the having children, all that stuff. It's okay. Battle battle scars. Battle scars. Sparkles. <laughs> Sparkle stripe or glitter stripes. Chachings. Chachings. <laughs> Ain't nothing pretty about this scar except that I that that, that, I'm, that it, it means that I'm alive. Um, you know, also uh, all you know, so again, like you said, surgery stuff. Um, because I think that those are those are all sort of markers of uh, of who we are, who, who who we become, and I think instinctively we get that. It's just society sometimes blinds us in the um, to the fact that this is just who we are now, and that's okay. That we're not supposed to look like we're twenty five anymore. No, because we don't have most people don't have the money that the Kardashians have to go and get something tightened up or poked out or pulled in and all of that stuff straight, straight <laughs> scraped off. off. And and to to fabricate the perfect body, um, you have to love the body that you have, the God that God has blessed you with. And yes, you should work on perfecting it. You know, making it better, making it healthy. That's the the struggle that we're going through right now is trying to keep it healthy so that it will, will continue to work for us. Don't don't get us wrong. You can't just neglect your body. Because, it, you know, it's not going to work for you if you don't take care of it. It's just like a vehicle. You don't go and get get your tune-ups and get your check, you know, change your oil and do all of this stuff. Like, that car will not run properly. And your body's not going to run properly. I know I've gone down a bunny trail. Yeah, you, you, but, uh, <laughs> yeah, you have. Yeah, yeah, you have. And I tend to do bunny trails. I know. I know. But the idea is that you still... You know, even even with all, all that stuff being true, um, I still think that it's that it, it is, and research has shown that for a good relationship, it is, it is definitely important to continue to understand about physical touch. Now, I said that I would offer a challenge uh, for the next thirty days. Can you do thirty days? Can you do thirty? Or for some of y'all who don't think you can do 30 because y'all don't do that anymore because your relationship is so mature that you don't think you need to do it, you are wrong. Make sure once a day that you hug your spouse. I know from my own personal struggles with health and the like, I know my blood pressure drops 20% when I'm hugging Debbie. Mm -hmm. I can feel my chest relaxing. I can feel, I can feel more. I can feel myself being more comfortable. Now, I know that some of y'all have 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 who used to be huggers, who used to slobber over each other. That you think that you've matured past that nonsense, absolute nonsense. Now, I'm not asking y'all to go to the movies and sit in the back of the theater and make out, and make out or, 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 <laughs> or, to, or hump each other in the back of the car at the drive-in. I'm not asking y'all to do that. <laughs> but you can if you want to. I can't. Yes, you can. I ain't telling you you can't, but that's not what I'm asking you. I'm asking you to hug each other, and you could be in your house, so you don't have to think it's public. Once a day. At least once a day. It's better either in the morning or in the evening, whoever gets home first or second. Um, better at the end of the day or the beginning of, the, uh, of, of your day. But every day for 30 days. And then come back to us 
and write in the comments there if first of all if you did it and don't lie and don't cheat now I know sometimes somebody may go away for business or, or, yes. or whatever and, and you miss a day and all that means is that you have to make it up the next day it's like schoolwork <laughs> you miss class you, you do, do makeup work. You do, you, you do some makeup work or you do some makeout work or whatever you're going <laughs> to call it. But I think that it's really important that, that you try this. I think it's super important that you try this. I think it's sort of super important that you, that you reconnect, that people who have been married for a while reconnect on a physical basis. Mm -hmm. I'm not, and again, one more time, I'm not just talking about sex. I'm not just talking about uh, 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 about reconnecting sexually because that's cool too and, and I'm not excluding it but that's not what I'm talking about because women will go hey you're talking about you must have to have sex all the time he just wants to have sex of course he's and a man he just wants to have sex all the time I can't have sex I have to work and I have to do the laundry and take care of these, ra these ragged ass kids I, I can't have, be having sex with you all the time and then have sex with you all the time I'm saying that there are ways to build in to keep intimacy going and to build intimacy and to keep that going that doesn't necessarily have to lead to sexual intercourse it doesn't necessarily nearly have to uh, if it does awesome um, but if, if it doesn't because there's sometimes where you, you know what where men and I'm gonna talk about men for just a second can I talk about this for a second yes you may. thank you um, where there are things going on in our bodies, a lot of us is, are, are, are suffering from erectile dysfunction because of age, weight, medication, all sorts of things that sort of lead us not to keep that physical contact going because it's because what we know is is that it's not going to lead to sex. And sometimes it does. Sometimes it does. Sometimes <laughs> sometimes we spin the wheel and we get lucky. Uh, but uh, and, and our body cooperates, but but uh, but sometimes if you're suffering from you know what ED or whatever, it doesn't. And so, and so we tend not to. You feel me? So we tend not to. <sighs> Big mistake. Big mistake. So I'm here to tell you this morning is that the one the one hug challenge is on. Here on Facebook, here on YouTube, um, the one hug a day, at least one, at least one, because if you because if you think about it, if you marry somebody for for thirty plus years or whatever, and you think about you you didn't hug them this week at all, that's a problem. That's jacked up. That's jacked up. Mm -hmm. If you're too busy to hug your spouse, you're too busy. They used to have a guy on, on, on local TV. His name was Ernie Lee. He used to do a local morning show. And what do you say? If you're too busy to go fishing, you're just too busy. <laughs> <laughs> so if you're too busy to hug your spouse once a day, and again, we're not talking about making sure that all the kids are out of the house and and, and, and everything is just perfect and your hair and your makeup Date is done. We're not talking about that. We're talking about a simple hug at the, at the door or out of the shower or while somebody's doing laundry or washing the dishes or cooking a meal or mm -hmm. just friggin' touch each other. That's it. Just a simple touch. Touch a each simple other. Simple caress. Touch each other. I think that, you know, and, and I think for a lot of people, I really do, um, I think that'll make a difference in your relationship that you... You will, I'm sure you will thank me for later. Ladies, you will thank me too. <laughs> you will thank me. Yes, because women, we tend to uh, like cuddling and and caressing and all of that. So it, that doesn't lead into sex every time. That's, women tend to like that. Well, yeah, I mean, it doesn't always, because it doesn't, and what I'm saying today, it doesn't always have to lead to sex. If it does, fine. But it doesn't always have to, and, and that doesn't have to be the purpose. I think some people think that physical contact have has the lead to sex. Well, when you're younger, you feel that way. Well, yeah, but <laughs> when you're older, you know, you, hopefully you know better. Mm -hmm. It doesn't have to lead to sex all the time. So the idea is that you want to 
make sure that you keep that physical contact going because I think that we all want to be that couple at the park who've been married 50 years who still hold hands. Yes. Yeah, some of their holding hands is to make sure that they can both they keep their fall. balance. <laughs> I understand. I understand. They're, they're like, oh, all right, here we go. All right, you hold on to me. I hold on to you, and uh, and and we'll get we'll get to the movie theater, uh, or we'll walk through the mall. But I, I and I, I'm I'm sure that's that's some of it. But when you watch people, especially those who've been married older, uh, who've been married for a long time for a longer time, and and you the people who are that part of the great generation, is that they sort of instinctively instinctively know this. And they reach out for, they actually reach out for that sort of contact. Um, I think it's important that you keep, that we keep that going in our, in, in our relationships. And if for some reason it's, it, it leaves, we have to notice that it's left, and then we got to put it back. Yes. I think that the benefit is, is that we, if you're still alive, you get to fix it. Put it back. There's still time. If you have breath in your body. There's still time. Do it. Put it back in your relationship. Put back the physical contact in your relationship. Put back the hand holding in public. Put back the hugs. Put put back the kisses. Um, and I, I and and yes, am I talking about the long drawn out your bottom your bottom jaw hurts kind of kisses? Well, yeah, um, but the pecks on the cheek, the peck on the lips. Put those back. If you've eliminated those. You probably didn't even think about eliminating those. It wasn't it wasn't your goal to get rid of that stuff as you get older. It wasn't your goal. It just sort of like anything that you don't take care of happens. You don't nurture it. Don't you know what I, I, I learned I went to a um, long years ago. One of the cool things about being about being older is you have, you have stories. That's one of the cool things. Um, I when I went to work for Johnson's Learning Corporation, went to a national meeting and uh, what was that name? That that dude Something Robbins, what's his name? Tony. Tony Robbins, people were there. And what Tony Robbins said in one of his meetings was that in everything we do, we're either flying or we're dying. Either things are, if things are getting better or they're getting worse. Your skill set, your relationships, nothing stays static. Nothing in your life stays static. It's either getting better or it's getting worse. So the things that, that you're not working on consciously, not getting better intentionally, at. are getting worse. Now, by the degree they're getting worse, I don't know. That depends on y'all. But know that so there are certain aspects of your life that you've not worked on. And there are certain aspects of your, of your relationship that you've not worked on that are getting worse. Yes, I say that they kind of scare you this morning. Yeah, sure did. I did it on purpose because I, I do crap on purpose. Yeah, I thought this out. That is, so so the physical contact part, say, you know, do it. Work on it. Start small again. Like when you were 16. And you didn't, you, you didn't even know what a girl felt like. And then you found out that, that, that a girl felt like chocolate. What? Remember the first time you had chocolate? What was the first thing you thought about? Is there any more of this? <laughs> Where can I get some more? And then you found bacon and chocolate, and somebody put them together, and then you were hooked. And you were hooked. So, go back. If you have to go back there in your brain to there, that's fine. But again, the challenge is for the next 30 days. And let us know how it works there in the comments on on, on, on um, YouTube. And oh, and by the way, we are 42 subscribers away from 100 subscribers on YouTube. 42. And there isn't any reason I think that we can't get those today. None. Yes. There's Perfect. no reason Surprise. because more people will watch this video on Facebook than 42 in the course of today. There's no reason we can't get 42 today. So go to, go to our, go to the YouTube channel. Um, it's on Facebook. The link will be there on the bottom. Just click on it. Bing, bang, boom. Um, we're not asking you for any money. We're not asking you to buy anything. We're just asking you to subscribe to our channel. That's, that's it. Y'all can do that, right? Y'all can do that for us, right? 
All right, I've talked almost the whole time. I'm gonna let you finish. Uh, I know. I was saying, I've, but it's your week, so I've been, you do I've been, that. I've been thinking about it. So yes, I've been thinking. About it. That's why I gave you the the time. You, this is your week. It's my week. Mm-hmm. Oh, great! It's my week that the Facebook thing doesn't work, and my camera, my and my computer doesn't work. <laughs> That's not my fault. Now, <laughs> no, what would happen on on my week? <laughs> but you're so good at it, so. But. Uh, <laughs> please like all my panic subscribe. happens inside my head and as I, all my panic and frustration happens inside my brain and uh, catch catch some of my meal meal uh, prep videos on our YouTube channel as well but um thank you for watching we love you guys and take up on that challenge that my husband gave you try uh once a day. Once a day. Y'all can do once a day, spouse. right? Y'all can do it once a day. Hug your spouse at least once a day. And and if you can sneak a kiss in I don't mean no bro hugs. Guys, I don't mean no bro no, 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 no bro hug or you grab the hand. I, no, I mean a hug. A I mean real, I mean wrap your little hug. fat little arms around your uh, around your spouse and bring her close to you. This is and and I'm not talking and I'm not talking about the church the, the church hugs either. I ain't talking about none of this. The side hug. Little side <laughs> hug. Because you don't want to mash memories. No. I'm talking about the mashing memories kind of hug. You feel me? Yes. I ain't talking about this. Love you, baby. <laughs> are you, are you hot? I mean, if, if, if you hug your grandma more with, I ain't talking about that. <laughs> talk about that at all. Y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm only asking for you to do it once a day. And... And let me know if you're better, because I'm pretty confident you'll be better. All right, we got a guy here making for somebody else. <sighs> There's stuff to do. It's Monday. Seems like a pretty day out. The sun is out yes, here in yes, Florida, it's and it's uh, it's about time. It's going to be in the 80s today. And, you know, that's my weather. <laughs> the eight, the mid-80s is my weather. Uh, so, after I do all, all my technical stuff here, then I'm going to get outside. We got somebody to um, get the kids down the street to clean our yard. To get the leaves out of the front yard, there's there's eighty seven thousand bags of leaves out there on, on the on the front of the house. We have I, several trees in our. Yard. I don't know which looks worse, the, the leaves or the or the bags of leaves stacked up in the front. And it takes the city forever to come yes, by. Yes, because we can't burn. No, we can't burn the leaves where we live. But the fire department will come out and give us a ticket and put the fire out. And we had a neighbor who set their tree on fire in the back in the backyard. In the backyard. <laughs> That's nice. Okay. It was funny though. So we got a guy here maybe for somebody else. So until we see you again, go out there and learn something. Love somebody. And for goodness sakes, God take care of yourself. We'll see you when we see you. Love you. Bye-bye now. Peace.